Good evening. I'm Jim Axelrod. It appears tonight that ISIS may have slaughtered another hostage. This time, the victim would be Japanese, one of two Japanese men who have been held by the terror group. Earlier this week, ISIS released a familiar-looking video, an ISIS militant with the hostages demanding $200 million for their release. Then today, this image was released, purportedly showing one of the hostages holding a picture of the other decapitated. We should point out this picture has yet to be authenticated, but the White House has condemned the killing. Holly Williams picks up the story. The image posted online today appears to show Kenji Goto, a Japanese journalist captured by ISIS, holding up a gruesome photo of his murdered compatriot, Haruna Yukawa. But ISIS has not released a video showing a beheading taking place, as it's done after executing other hostages. ISIS vowed to kill both Japanese men on Tuesday unless their government paid a $200 million ransom within 72 hours. Yukawa described himself as a private security contractor before he was captured by ISIS in August. Kenji Goto is an experienced reporter who, according to his friends and family, went to Syria late last year to try to rescue Yukawa. This is the first time ISIS has openly demanded ransom money, though the group is believed to have made $20 million from its trade in hostages last year alone. The Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe described the new image today as outrageous and unforgivable, but his government has declined to say whether it would consider paying for the release of Japanese citizens. In Tokyo on Friday, Kenji Goto's mother said she wanted the Japanese government to pay the ransom and appealed to the extremists to release her son. Instead, his fate is unknown, and ISIS claims Haruna Yukawa has become the latest of its hostages to be beheaded. That image posted online today was accompanied by an audio recording, which it's claimed is Kenji Goto saying that ISIS is now willing to swap him for a failed female suicide bomber being held in a prison in Jordan. Jim. Holly, thank you.